Okay, guys, that was a test ride. I'd have been happy to continue all day. This is one of my all-time favorite motors, the XR650. I've had these for, uh, since they came out in multiple different forms. This one is an absolute freaking rocket ship. It's got a brand new pumper carb on it and a custom hand-built exhaust on it, and it absolutely works. It's got the FMF uh, power bomb header hooked to this handmade uh, custom exhaust system and it's an absolute freaking wheelie machine it's wheelie wednesday yeah <laughs> this is the ultimate bike for wheelie wednesday it's absolutely freaking wheelie monster all five gears all day long this thing is if you look up thumper in the dictionary there should be a picture of one of these big bore 650 air cooled simple Th these bikes have won multiple off-road championships in the hands of scott H summers uh grand national cross country races um, desert racing. They're awesome for supermoto street riding. It's the ultimate hooligan bike. Take it on-road, off-road, anywhere, and the motors are virtually indestructible. This one is much faster than a stock bike. It's, it's carbureted much better. The exhaust, it's, it's, a, it's, it's breathing freely in tune perfectly. Guys, this came from my buddy Harry Hall at Hall Automotive in Rhode Island. There's a, I see a pattern here. My other favorite bike, the KLR 650, big black. That's my other favorite. I love these big bore thumpers, man. I can ride whatever I want, right? There's 400 bikes here. Just something about the big bore thumpers. They're, they, they, they're very tractable. They just feel like they'll run forever because they will. And they're very under stress. They don't rev that high. This one is, has been given a ridiculous amount of uh, love and attention. It was stripped right down to the frame and it was painted this dark gray color on the fork lowers, the frame, the triple clamps, the swing arm, the entire thing was taken right down to the frame. Even the engine cases were done in that color. This is a tank off a CB450 from the uh, mid 70s, 75 era. And you can see it gives it a nice vintage look. Uh, this was just professionally painted. Dean, me and Dean painted this and it came out freaking beautiful. The paint looks like it's a foot thick. The, the um, chrome on the gas cap, I think that's a brand new chrome gas cap, 95% sure. Uh, the badges look brand new. The decals are, are brand new on the tank. Uh, the front fender is black as is the headlight bucket. The front, the headlight bucket's painted to match by Dean. Uh, it's got the black rear fender with a license plate mount on there. The number plates were, uh, were custom made by Steiger Designs. The graphics are the number one plates. Uh, she actually made a template for this, which is a, quite, a, quite a project to do. Uh, it has on the front fender here, the Baja Ducati score, 16 time world champion. This thing, this particular engine won 16,000 mile desert races through dust, storms, world champion XR650. If it can handle thousand mile runs through the desert with the best riders in the world on it, it can handle your punk ass riding around the hood. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm gonna throw it out of bus, but seriously, I'm not gonna wear this thing out riding around Rockville. There's no dust. Um, this thing will run forever. Look at Hawk, check him out. He lives here, he's been here since I got here. Hook Freaking awesome, I love birds of prey. So um, it has the XLR LED headlight. This thing's super bright. Lots of attention to detail here. It's got custom supermoto bars. Has a full ASV unbreakable lever perch with the black levers on here. Uh, matching uh, bar end mirrors, a uh, bar end, excuse me, bar end LED turn signals, which aren't working right now for some reason. I'm not sure why. They were working earlier and they're bright as can be. They're super bright. Uh, they're on there right now. They're not working. I guess uh, that's just uh, 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 probably an electrical issue. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's got the LED tail light in the back here. Um, the, uh, take a look at the wheels. Start at the front, front uh, show them the rear wheel first. The, these are, it's a brand new set of Moose Racing rims with uh, new spokes and the hubs were painted to match the, the custom paint on the, on the body here. Um, it's got this nasty graphic on the side here. It's a Steiger Designs graphic, the Thumper graphic, the number one, and of course a traditional Honda on the tank here. Beautiful paint job, beautiful wheel set. It's got a brand new set of uh, uh, Wheels front and rear and spokes, and check out the chain of sprocket. It's got a gold chain on there. 
Um, the brakes work awesome. It's got brand new brake pads in the rear, brand new brake pads in the front. The caliper has just been rebuilt and honed uh, and lubed. Uh, the slider has been lubed, so everything works great on the front brakes. Uh, disc brakes front and rear. Guys, if you want to do supermoto, you want to ride around the city, you want a bike that you can take it across the desert, look no further, XR650. And this one's really unique. You won't, you won't confuse this with all the other plain Jane red ones. The rear subframe here has been modified to accept this, this uh, it's been uh, modified to accept this cafe seat on here. Um, the pipe out it is custom. So there's been some welding work done back here. The pipe's been hand welded. A lot of, a lot of attention to detail on this thing. It has the ma matching ASV lever on this side right here. As you can see, adjustable lever, and it has a braided stainless front brake line. Something I always do on my big bore thumpers, I always put a braided stainless brake line on the front. Uh, this is a 2000 year model, XR60DL. Same exact motor as in the 2022, same motor. Uh, except for this one's been breathed up, breathed upon. So the new ones run, I'll tell you straight up, the new ones run like dog shit, okay? Because how do I know I got one inside? They run like dog shit. They're almost unrideable out of the box. They're so corked up by the EPA and the, the carbs are so lean. You got to do a, a minimum stage one kit with a pipe. And you got to redo the carb and take the smog kit off of it. Otherwise, you're not cracking wheelies. Like this, this, thing, will, this thing will run circles around a 22. Like not even close. Come on. So as you can see, front to back, the wheel set, the complete frame off restoration, the custom painting of the cylinder head. They were painted black in the, in the cases. Uh, just a lot of love has been, been given to this bike. It's tuned freaking perfectly. Um, it has a compression release, so it kicks over easy. Um, you can see the new gold chain and sprockets on this side. Also has a new custom billet chain guide. Um, just a kick-ass piece. Oversized pegs on here. The stock pegs suck. These are the IMS pegs, the same ones I put on my bike. Uh, it has an, uh, a custom folding uh, sh uh, shift lever. Just a beautiful piece. Zoom in on the carb. Show them the pumper carb. About a $400 upgrade, the carb. Um, it's got a free breathing. It's got a foam air filter, and the thing breathes freaking awesome, man. It just, it, it just wants to wheelie all day long. And, and forget about wearing this motor out. You're not going to. Uh, if, you, if you do, if you wear one of these out, you're a better man than I, and maybe a better man than Scott Summers, because let's, let's just cover it to chase. You're not going to wear this motor out. These things are freaking bulletproof, indestructible Hondas. Thanks for watching. Give us a call if you have any questions. 860-454-7024. We'll ship this anywhere in the country for it. We can finance it for you. This would be a kick-ass present under the tree for any self-respecting Honda lover. So buy this bike and make every Wednesday Wheelie Wednesday. You don't even have to be good at doing wheelies. You just crack the throttle.